Danielle tries weird things. Hello and welcome to the inaugural episode of Danielle Tries Weird Things. As you might have already guessed, I'm your host, Danielle, and I'm going to try some weird things. We're starting off today with a fun little supplement known as spirulina, aka pond scum. And if that doesn't sound delicious, I don't know what does. It's actually got a lot of nifty little benefits. High in protein, good source of antioxidants, high in a lot of vitamins, such as iron, makes it great for you vegans and vegetarians, which is actually how I got into it, for during that cold and flu season when we know what coworker <coughs> turns your office into a living flu and cold petri dish. And as a matter of fact, it's also known as nature's multivitamin. Great stuff few things to note when you're looking into buying spirulina because it is an algae and it grows in water all of its nutritional value or most of it comes from the water it grows in which means if you're buying it from that sketchy place down the street or up the river at the pond it's getting any toxins that filter into there so you want to pick a company that's licensed and certified in growing it i've gone with nutrix hawaiian pacifica it's grown off the Kona Island in Hawaii in a biosecure zone, 100% potable water, and they filter in some deep ocean water for extra nutritional boost. Let's see how we eat this. So you take one teaspoon daily with or between meals, enjoy mixed in juice, fruit smoothies, or sprinkled on food. We're not doing that. Mm -mm. Uh, you refrigerate it after opening, blah, 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 blah. Let's eat this up. So I'm actually gonna try it with some water as well. So you know, if we're looking out for our health, who wants all that extra sugar and calories from juice? We don't need that stuff. You know, it looks like dried algae. It smells like it. Got my handy dandy water cup. It's about a teaspoon. You can see it looks pretty smooth. Oh, it doesn't actually look terrible. Oh, it looks terrible once you put it in the water, that's for sure. Oh man, the smell is, um, yeah, not great. So, you know, you wanna drink your multivitamin and instead of just tank it with some water, mix this in and uh, let's see. Oh, um, you know, not completely undrinkable. A little salty, doesn't have a bad texture, which I would've expected. I mean, yeah, overall that's actually, honestly, not completely terrible, doable, so it might get a little rough by the end of it, but all right. Next up is trying it with juice. Who the hell has orange juice lying around? I like my apple cider. I also didn't have any orange juice around, which is mainly why we're using the cider. Okay. That kind of clumped right up in there. Mm-hmm. Yup. That's a Oh, wow. I regret doing that. Just cleaning off my finger. That was not the right move. I got a clump of it. Um, you know, if you actually mix it in so that it's not clumpified, you can't taste it too bad with the cider. It covers it up. It's weirdly very smooth. It does not have a horrible texture. Yeah, without the clump, it's, it's all right. I mean, I'm aware that I'm drinking pond scum, which doesn't help. Okay, the juice passes. Just, you know, mix it up. Don't lick it off your finger. Another great way you can take it is a shot. You know, they have wheatgrass shots, all those little protein shots. This one I have a feeling isn't gonna be super great, but hey, I'm into health. I wanna feel healthy. I wanna get my nutrients. Let's spirulina it up. It is very hard to like mix in, so I'd recommend a blender bottle or whisk or something. The smell is just, I mean, dead ocean. Since I am gonna be shooting this, I am taking a little extra time to mix it because it's gonna be bad enough to begin with. Oh, that, yep, does not look. All right, let me give you a look. Okay. So this one's, you know, a little thicker. I don't think I've wanted to do anything less in my life, so cheers. Oh, Jesus. Oh. 
Okay. Mm. Oh, it like all globbed up in the middle, so it was just like a glob lubed up by the water. Do not do a shot of this. If you're gonna add spirulina into your diet, whether it's because you're vegan or vegetarian and you wanna get a nice multivitamin boost for some things that might be a little hard to get, or you wanna get that immune boost around the holiday season for all your coworkers who shouldn't come in but do, mix it up with some juice and you're fine. I guess overall my rating of this would be with water, five pukes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, with the juice, I'd give it two. <laughs> so I've just been told that I have a lovely tinge to my smile. Just gonna embrace that. Thank you for joining us for our inaugural episode. If you have any comments on our spirulina experience or other foods that you'd like to see me try, please comment below. And if you'd like to see other things that myself and my colleagues are working on, you can find us at littlegiantmonsters.com and on social media, Instagram and Facebook. We'll be back soon with another horrifying treat. I like it. Okay. All right.